Welcome to Time's Capsule Tales. Get ready to dive into a world of mysteries like never before. Whether you're here seeking truth or just looking for some entertainment, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. So let's get started. It's time to explore, discover and have some incredible experiences together. Unlocking mysteries, the Anunnaki, Jesus and more. Exploring belief systems and their impact on humanity. In the vast tapestry of human beliefs, there exist intricate threads of thought that weave together tales of ancient astronauts, divine encounters, and cosmic connections. In this exploration, we delve into the enigmatic world where some individuals fervently embrace certain beliefs while others remain skeptical. We'll traverse the realms of the Anunnaki, the dual morning stars of Jesus and Satan, the crucifixion of Jesus, and the trinity of Enki, Enlil, and Anu. Join us as we navigate these intriguing narratives, each with its dedicated followers and dissenting voices. The Anunnaki, ancient astronauts or mythical figures. Some people believe in the Anunnaki, some don't, but one cannot deny the allure of this ancient extraterrestrial hypothesis. The Anunnaki, a group of deities in Sumerian mythology, have captivated the imaginations of many. Believers argue that these celestial beings descended to Earth in the distant past, shaping human civilization as we know it. Proponents of the theory point to ancient texts, such as the Sumerian cuneiform tablets as evidence of their existence. These texts describe the Anunnaki as creators, educators and rulers of early humans. The notion of advanced beings influencing human development is an intriguing one, making it a topic of fascination for conspiracy theorists and ancient alien enthusiasts alike. However, skeptics maintain that these tales are nothing more than elaborate myths cautioning against taking them at face value. They argue that the Anunnaki narrative is a symbolic representation of natural forces and human attributes rather than a historical account of extraterrestrial intervention. Unveiling the enigma of the Anunnaki To truly understand the depth of the Anunnaki belief system, it's essential to delve into its origins and the evidence presented by its proponents. The Sumerian Cuneiform Tablets Central to the Anunnaki belief system are the Sumerian Cuneiform Tablets. These ancient texts dating back to the Sumerian civilization contain numerous references to the Anunnaki. Proponents argue that the tablets provide detailed accounts of the Anunnaki's interactions with humans, their advanced knowledge and their role in shaping early civilizations. The tablets describe the Anunnaki as godlike beings who possessed knowledge and technology far beyond that of the ancient Sumerians. They allegedly taught humanity various skills and were revered as both creators and deities. This interpretation has led some to view the Anunnaki as ancient astronauts who came to Earth to guide and nurture early human development. Archaeological Discoveries While the Sumerian cuneiform tablets are a primary source of Anunnaki belief, some believers point to potential archaeological evidence to support their claims. They suggest that certain ancient structures, such as the pyramids of Egypt and the stone circles of Stonehenge, display levels of engineering and astronomical precision that surpass the technological capabilities of the civilizations that built them. This, they argue, could be indicative of extraterrestrial influence. Skeptics, however, counter these claims by offering alternative explanations for these impressive feats of ancient engineering. They emphasize the ingenuity and resourcefulness of early human civilizations and argue that attributing their achievements solely to extraterrestrial intervention diminishes the accomplishments of these ancient cultures. Weighing the evidence In the grand tapestry of human beliefs, the question of whether the Anunnaki were ancient astronauts or mythical figures remains deeply divisive. Proponents find solace in ancient texts and perceived archaeological anomalies while skeptics maintain that these beliefs are based on interpretation rather than concrete evidence. The allure of the Anunnaki belief system lies in its capacity to ignite the imagination and spark discussions about the possibilities of extraterrestrial life and ancient civilizations. Whether one chooses to embrace this belief or view it with skepticism, it serves as a testament to the enduring human fascination with the unknown. The dual morning stars, Jesus and Satan's cosmic connection. Some people believe that Jesus and Satan are two morning stars singing together, some don't. 
This belief treads into the realm of religious symbolism and mysticism. The concept of Jesus and Satan as celestial entities with a shared cosmic purpose is not widely accepted within mainstream religious doctrine, but finds a home in certain esoteric and occult traditions. Proponents of this idea draw parallels between biblical descriptions of both figures as morning stars, associating them with celestial light and enlightenment. They interpret the adversarial relationship between Jesus and Satan as a cosmic dance where light and darkness coexist in a delicate balance. Critics, however, argue that this interpretation deviates from traditional religious teachings which portray Jesus as the savior and Satan as the adversary. They contend that such allegorical readings can lead to confusion and misinterpretation of core religious tenets. The celestial dance of Jesus and Satan to delve deeper into this intriguing belief, it's crucial to examine the textual and symbolic references that underpin it. Biblical references central to the belief in Jesus and Satan as dual morning stars are specific passages from the Bible. In the book of Revelation, for instance, Jesus is referred to as the bright morning star, Revelation 22, 16. This celestial imagery is believed by proponents to connect Jesus with the symbolism of the morning star, representing illumination and guidance. Conversely, proponents point to passages that describe Satan's fall from grace, with some interpreting his fall as a descent from the heavenly realm akin to the morning star losing its brilliance. This connection, they argue, suggests a cosmic interplay between light and darkness embodied by Jesus and Satan. Esoteric and occult interpretations Believers in the cosmic connection between Jesus and Satan often draw inspiration from esoteric and occult traditions. These interpretations delve into the mystical aspects of religion and view biblical stories as allegorical representations of cosmic truths. In esoteric thought, the duality of Jesus and Satan represents the eternal struggle between opposing forces that shape the universe. They view Jesus as the embodiment of spiritual enlightenment and Satan as the force that challenges and tests humanity on its path to spiritual growth. This perspective places the two figures in a cosmic narrative where their interactions serve a higher purpose. Critics, however, argue that such interpretations are subjective and divergent from mainstream religious teachings. They stress the importance of adhering to established religious doctrine and caution against speculative or unorthodox beliefs that can lead individuals away from traditional faith practices. Navigating the cosmic conundrum, the belief in Jesus and Satan as dual morning stars serves as a reminder of the intricate tapestry of human spirituality. It is a belief system that challenges conventional religious boundaries and invites individuals to explore the mystical and allegorical aspects of their faith. In the grand mosaic of human belief, the question of whether Jesus and Satan share a cosmic connection remains a matter of personal interpretation. Proponents find solace in biblical passages and esoteric traditions, while critics emphasize the need for adherence to established religious doctrine. Ultimately, it is the individual's faith and spiritual journey that guide their understanding of this intricate cosmic conundrum. The crucifixion of Jesus, a divisive belief. Some people believe that Jesus was crucified on a cross, some don't. The crucifixion of Jesus is a cornerstone of Christian faith and the central event in the Passion narrative. It symbolizes redemption, sacrifice and the triumph of good over evil for millions of Christians around the world. Supporters of this belief point to biblical accounts, historical records, and religious tradition as evidence of the crucifixion. They argue that the crucifixion is a pivotal moment in human history, marking the atonement for humanity's sins. Conversely, those who doubt the crucifixion story often raise questions about historical accuracy and the reliability of ancient texts. They may propose alternative theories, such as the swoon theory, which suggests that Jesus survived the crucifixion, casting doubt on the traditional narrative, unraveling the crucifixion narrative. To gain a comprehensive understanding of the crucifixion belief, it is essential to explore the historical and theological aspects surrounding this pivotal event. Biblical accounts. The crucifixion of Jesus is recounted in the New Testament of the Bible with the four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, providing varying but complementary perspectives on the event. 
These accounts describe Jesus being crucified on a cross, a form of execution reserved for the most serious of crimes in the Roman Empire. Supporters of the crucifixion narrative view the Gospels as authoritative and divinely inspired accounts. They argue that the consistency of the crucifixion story across these texts lends credibility to the event and underscores its significance in Christian theology. Historical records, in addition to biblical accounts, some proponents of the crucifixion belief point to historical records outside the Bible that mention Jesus and his crucifixion. These include references by Roman historians such as Tacitus and Jewish historian Flavius Josephus, who made passing mentions of Jesus and the circumstances of his death. Critics, however, contend that these historical references are sparse and subject to debate. They argue that the absence of detailed contemporaneous accounts raises questions about the crucifixion's historicity and whether it occurred precisely as described in the Gospels. Theological significance. For believers in the crucifixion narrative, its theological significance cannot be overstated. It represents the ultimate act of divine sacrifice, with Jesus willingly laying down his life to atone for the sins of humanity. This belief forms the foundation of Christian faith and underscores the concept of redemption through faith in Christ. Critics, on the other hand, may question the theological implications of the crucifixion. They may raise concerns about the concept of vicarious atonement, where one individual's suffering absolves the sins of others, and whether it aligns with their personal beliefs and understanding of justice. Reflecting on the crucifixion, the belief in the crucifixion of Jesus is a defining aspect of Christian faith, shaping theology, worship, and the lives of millions of adherents. It is a belief that resonates with the core message of Christianity, the redemption and salvation of humanity through the sacrifice of Christ. In the grand mosaic of human belief, the question of the crucifixion's veracity remains a matter of faith and interpretation. Supporters emphasize the biblical accounts and historical references, while skeptics may raise questions about the historical record and the theological implications of this pivotal event. The trinity of Enki, Enlil and Anu, the real divine trio. Some people believe that Enki, Enlil and Anu are the real trinity, some don't. In the annals of Sumerian mythology, these three deities hold significant prominence. Enki, often associated with wisdom and creativity, Enlil, the god of air and storms, and Anu, the supreme deity, form a divine trio that influenced the course of ancient Mesopotamian civilization. Adherents of this belief see parallels between the Sumerian trinity and the concept of a divine trinity in other religions, such as Christianity's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They argue that these ancient deities laid the groundwork for later religious interpretations. Critics, on the other hand, view this as a case of cultural appropriation or overreaching attempts to draw connections between disparate belief systems. They emphasize the distinctiveness of each culture's religious narratives and discourage attempts to homogenize them. Unveiling the Sumerian Trinity To delve deeper into the belief in the Sumerian Trinity, it's essential to explore the origins and connections that proponents draw between these ancient deities and their counterparts in other faiths. Enki, the god of wisdom. Enki, often portrayed as a water god, is associated with wisdom, magic, and craftsmanship in Sumerian mythology. He is revered for his role in creating humanity and bestowing knowledge upon them. Proponents of the Sumerian trinity view Enki as a parallel to the concept of divine wisdom found in various religious traditions. In some interpretations, Enki's role as a creator and bestower of knowledge aligns with the image of a benevolent deity guiding humanity, much like the Holy Spirit in Christian theology. Enlil, the god of air and storms. Enlil, in contrast, is a god of air and storms, often seen as a powerful and sometimes capricious figure. He holds dominion over the natural forces that shape the world. Proponents of the Sumerian trinity draw parallels between Enlil and the divine force responsible for maintaining order in the universe, akin to the role of a divine father figure. Critics may argue that the comparison between Enlil and other divine father figures is a simplification of complex theological concepts, reducing diverse belief systems to a common denominator. Anu, the supreme deity, Anu, as the supreme deity in Sumerian mythology, is often equated with
the highest divine authority. Proponents argue that Anu's role as the ruler of the Pantheon aligns with the concept of a supreme deity found in many religions. However, critics may contend that this comparison oversimplifies the nuanced theological concepts of a supreme being and overlooks the unique attributes and narratives associated with each culture's supreme deity. The Tapestry of Belief In the grand mosaic of human belief, the question of whether Enki, Enlil and Anu represent the real divine trinity remains a subject of contemplation and debate. Proponents see connections between these ancient deities and the divine triads of other faiths, while skeptics emphasize the importance of preserving the distinctiveness of each belief system. Belief in all its forms is a deeply personal and cultural phenomenon. It shapes our understanding of the world, our place in it, and the mysteries that surround us. As we navigate the intricate narratives of the Anunnaki, the dual morning stars, the crucifixion of Jesus and the Sumerian Trinity, we are reminded of the rich tapestry of human spirituality and the diverse ways in which we seek to make sense of the cosmos. In the labyrinthine world of beliefs, the line between faith and skepticism is often blurred. To believe or not to believe is a question that each individual must answer for themselves, guided by their own convictions and interpretations. These examples, the Anunnaki, the dual morning stars, the crucifixion of Jesus and the trinity of Enki, Enlil and Anu, are but a glimpse into the vast landscape of human spirituality and belief. As we navigate these intricate narratives, it becomes clear that the human experience is marked by diversity in thought and interpretation. Whether we choose to embrace these beliefs or scrutinize them with skepticism, it is our capacity for inquiry and exploration that drives us to seek understanding in the ever-evolving tapestry of our beliefs and convictions. In this complex tapestry, there is no single thread that can unravel the mysteries of our existence. Instead, it is the interplay of contrasting beliefs, the dance of light and darkness, and the harmony of diverse narratives that enrich our collective human experience. It is in this rich tapestry that we find the beauty of our shared journey, where belief and skepticism coexist, guiding us toward a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The human story is one of exploration, discovery and continuous evolution, a journey where belief in all its forms remains an enduring and integral part of our shared narrative. Thank you for joining us today on Time Capsule Tales. We hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as we did. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming content. If you're hungry for more, check out these related videos or playlists on your screen right now. Once again, thank you for being a part of the Time Capsule Tales community. We couldn't do this without you. We'll see you in the next video.